All right, so in this video, I'll be showing how to develop an application in Ragic. So I have this basic bug tracker that I generated in Excel with data from MySQL. And thus far, my company's bug tracking system has not been used very much. So managing this system in such a way where we analyze and address issues within Excel has not been a big deal. Now as we prepare for a product launch, we are ramping up our usability and QA testing. So we need a more robust bug tracker customized to our needs. Fortunately, Ragit can handle this task, making it easier to track bugs, generate reports, and overall develop customized apps with little to no coding. So once logged into Ragic, I can create a new database by importing data directly from Excel. So the data importation process is simple. First, pick the header row and click Next. Then you want to create a new database. And then you want to select either a primary or foreign keys if needed to link certain columns together. Then you specify the input type for each column. So free text is the default. Selection means that you have a list and can select only one value. While multiple selection, you have a list as well, but you can select multiple values. So I'm gonna go through and change some of these. Change that to multiple selection. Multiple selection. And finally, you want to select the database name. And then click Create. All right, so you can see that I have the, the same data here in an Excel-like format. Now, one major difference is I can click on a specific bug. And this shows information in a form-like format which makes just viewing the data easier and it's easier to isolate certain bugs. So now where the real features come into play is with the design mode. So let me drill down on a bug, click modify design, and then I can specify an attachment. I also want to put in a long description, tags to help categorize the entry, as well as steps to reproduce the error. I'm going to change this to paragraph text, save the edit, exit designer. All right, so there's some sophisticated reporting built in the Ragic as well. So let me click on reports. I'm going to click uh, pivot. So my manager likes to look at reports of the type of errors assigned to each of his team members. And in Ragic, this is very easy to generate. So I can change this to assign to, leave that as type, click generate report, and I can see the different members on the QA team and, and the support team and the type of bugs that are reported, either error, product change, question, etc. And one last thing, I just wanted to show you the uh, mobile site. I'm going to go ahead and open up Chrome. Here's the bug tracker database that I created. I can move around and I can click on bugs. And it's really easy to make edits. All right, thanks for watching, and for more info, please visit ragic.com.